to the moon, Rita William Wordsworth Queen of the Stars. So gentle, so benign, that ancient fable did to thee assign, when darkness creeping o'er thy silver brow warned thee these upper regions to forgo, alternate empire in the shades below a bard, who, lately near the widespread sea traversed by gleaming ships, looked up to thee with grateful thoughts, doth now thy rising hail from the close confines of a shadowy vale. Glory of night, conspicuous yet serene, no less attractive when by glimpses seen through cloudy umbrage, well might that fair face, and all those attributes of modest grace, in days when fancy wrought unchecked by fear, down to the green earth fetch thee from thy sphere, to sit in leafy woods by fountains clear. O oh, still beloved, for thine, meek power, are charms that fascinate the very babe in arms, while he, uplifted towards thee, laughs outright, spreading his little palms in his glad mother's sight. O oh, still beloved, once worshipped. Time, that frowns in his destructive flight on earthly crowns, spares thy mild splendor. Still those far-shot beams tremble on dancing waves and rippling streams with stainless touch, as chaste as when thy praise was sung by virgin choirs in festalays. And through dark trials still dost thou explore thy way for increase punctual as of yore, when teeming matrons yielding to rude faith in mysteries of birth and life and death and painful struggle and deliverance prayed of thee to visit them with lenient aid. What though the rites be swept away, the fans extinct that echo to the votive strains. Yet thy mild aspect does not, cannot, cease love to promote and purity and peace. And fancy, unreproved, even yet may trace faint types of suffering in thy beamless face. Then silent Menigris. Let us not blind to worlds unthought of till the searching mind of science lay them open to mankind told, also, how the voiceless heavens declare God's glory. And acknowledging thy share in that blessed charge, let us without offense to aught of highest holiest, influence receive whatever good tis given thee to dispense. May sage and simple, catching with one eye the moral intimations of the sky, learn from thy course, where'er their own be taken, ampersand quo. To look on tempest, and be never shaken, ampersand quo. To keep with faithful step the appointed way eclipsing or eclipsed, by night or day, and from example of thy monthly range gently to brook decline and fatal change meek, patient, steadfast, and with loftier scope, than thy revival yields, for glassome hope.